Okay, guys. Here we are at 6524 Lake Suzanne. This is the front yard. Again, it's gated all the way around. You are on a cul-de-sac. You have a double pavement driveway there. And then this is just a picture of the side. It is wooded on each side of you, so lots of privacy right now. But just know that someone can buy that land and put a home there as well. So we're gonna walk into our living room. It's a great size living room. I'm gonna keep this door open just so we can have the light in here. The carpet is in really good conditions. The walls seem to be in good conditions. There's just a few minor things that I've seen, um, but not much. So I'm just gonna go to this side of the living room just so you can kind of again see the, the size of it. So it's a great space, all right? Right off the living room is gonna be your formal dining room. Again, enough room in here to put a good size table that sits six, maybe even eight, maybe a breakfast hutch buffet or something, but you have lots of good space in here. And then right off the dining room is gonna be your kitchen, which you have the Famica countertops, the stainless steel appliances. Does not have the ice maker, but that's easily changeable in the future. You do have this nice island right here that has extra cabinets, and you have this little coffee or microwave nook over here. And you've got your dishwasher, your stove, oven, fridge. It does have a ventilation system there. A double sink, but no garbage disposal, but that should be an easy fix as well. And then you have your breakfast nook. And again, right off your breakfast nook is the living room, so it kind of goes like in a circle. So we'll go back this way. And off of your formal dining room, it's gonna be your two spare bedrooms and hall bathroom. So this is guest one. This one's got the laminate flooring in there. It's the larger of the two. And it has a nice walk-in closet. This is just another view of this room from this corner. All right, we're gonna step back out. And we're gonna go into guest bedroom two. This one's a little bit smaller with the blue walls and the blue carpet. This one just has a little bit of damage down there. Um, maybe it just looks like some water damage on the wall. So we definitely kind of want to see what that's about. But this also has a nice good size walk-in closet. The AC works good in here. It's 80 something degrees outside and it's definitely cool in this house. So that's nice. And here is your spare bathroom. I don't think we actually walked in here when I was on the phone earlier with you, but it's a good size, um, one vanity sink, but it's over, it's oversized. And then you have your traditional tub shower combo here. All right. We're gonna walk back this way Across the living room, we're gonna go into your master bedroom. And again, your master bedroom is a great size. You can definitely put a king bed in here with two nightstands, a skinny dresser, and even the top, and like a long dresser. There's lots of room, many ways to do this. And then you do have your master, I'm sorry, your master closet here. So a great size master closet. And then we're gonna walk into the master bath area. So again, we have the double vanity sinks and it's a great size. Lots of cabinets, lots of drawers, extra storage over there. You have your toilet cubby hole over there a nice good soaker tub, and a walk-in shower. 
And it's actually like a nice tiled walk-in shower. So that's awesome. All right, I'm just gonna shut these lights off real quick as we come out of here. All right, and now we're gonna walk into the laundry room. Now this laundry room does not have a door here, but you could definitely probably add one. It's got your utility closet that's got a tankless water heater, which is amazing, and some shelving. There's your little doggy door if you have a pet. You have um, the shelving and the counter space to do some laundry. And then here's where your outlets are with extra cabinets and a back door off of the laundry room. But we're gonna go out the back way from the breakfast nook. So you have this nice covered porch with a ceiling fan and a light. That's just pine straw on there, but this porch is in really good condition. Again, you have your newer AC unit over there and a totally fenced in backyard with your storage shed over there, Bob, that has electricity and windows and already a, a window unit. So you can't go too wrong there. But this is the home on Lake Susanna, and I will send you this video here soon.